Hi friends, I am Purva and today we will work out the following question. Show that the line through the points 1 minus 1, 2 and 3, 4 minus 2 is perpendicular to the line through the points 0, 3, 2 and 3, 5, 6. Now the direction cosines of line passing through two points P whose coordinates are x1, y1, z1 and Q whose coordinates are x2, y2, z2 are x2 minus x1 upon pq comma y2 minus y1 upon pq comma z2 minus z1 upon pq where we have pq is equal to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. Now, let the direction cosines of two lines L1 and L2 be L1, M1, N1 and L2, M2, N2 respectively. And let Theta be the angle between them. Then cos theta is equal to mod of L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2. And these two lines are perpendicular if Theta is equal to 90 degrees. So, this is the key idea behind our question. Let us begin with the solution now. Now, suppose line L1 is passing through the points One minus one two and three four minus two. Then let coordinates of point A be one minus one two and coordinates of point B be three four minus two. Then AB is equal to under root of now by key idea we know that if x1, y1, z1 and x2, y2, z2 are coordinates of two points P and Q, then PQ is equal to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. So here we get AB is equal to under root of 3 minus 1 whole square plus 4 minus of minus 1 that is 4 plus 1 whole square plus minus 2 minus 2 whole square which is equal to under root of 4 plus 25 plus 16 which is equal to 3 under root 5 thus the direction cosines of line ABR 3 minus 1 upon 3 under root 5 comma 4 plus 1 upon 3 under root 5 comma minus 2 minus 2 upon 3 under root 5 by key idea we know that the direction cosines of a line passing through two points P and Q are given by x2 minus x1 upon PQ, comma y2 minus y1 upon PQ, comma z2 minus z1 upon PQ. So here we get these are the direction cosines of line AB. That is we get 2 upon 3 under root 5, comma 5 upon 3 under root 5, comma minus 4 upon 3 under root 
5 now suppose line l2 is passing through the points Zero three two and three five six. Then let the coordinates of point P are zero three two and coordinates of point Q are three five six. Then we have PQ is equal to under root of three minus zero whole square plus. Five minus three whole square plus six minus two whole square. This is equal to under root of nine plus four plus sixteen, which is equal to under root twenty-nine. Thus, the direction cosines. Of line PQR, three minus zero upon under root twenty-nine, comma five minus three upon under root twenty-nine, comma six minus two upon under root twenty-nine. That is, we have three upon under root twenty-nine, comma two upon under root twenty-nine, comma four upon under root. 29 now the angle theta between the lines ab and pq is given by cos theta is equal to mod of now by key idea we know that The angle theta between two lines L1 and L2, whose direction cosines are L1 M1 N1 and L2 M2 N2, is given by cos theta is equal to mod of L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2. So here we have cos theta is equal to mod of 2 upon 3 under root 5 into 3 upon under root 29 plus 5 upon 3 under root 5 into 2 upon under root 29 plus minus 4 upon 3 under root 5 into 4 upon under root 29 and this is equal to mod of 2 upon under root 145 plus 10 upon 3 under root 145. Minus sixteen upon three under root one forty five, which is equal to six plus ten minus sixteen upon three under root one forty five, and this implies cos theta is equal to zero, which further implies theta is equal to ninety degrees. Now, since theta is equal to ninety degrees, so by key idea we can say that thus the two lines are perpendicular. This is our answer. Hope you have understood the solution. Bye and take care.